today in the news, what we have is a story on International Thespian Society going to festival. A new episode of What's Trending. Wrestling going to state. Hey, Vikes, I'm here with Mrs. Uh, cheer with Emery. We have a new segment today called What's Trending, where we shall see what most of us plan to do over spring break. Let's take a watch. Hey Vikes, I'm Kaylee Workman. I'm here to tell you what's trending. Last week's question was, what are your goals for the spring season? We caught up with Caitlin Charity, who said, her goal is to finish up the semester with a 4.0 and get more college scholarships. We also caught up with Sam Ingram, who wanted to prove on her, her diving skills. Next up, we caught up with Sturgis Streeter, who posted about the Boys State Bowling, who plays first. Next up, Jacob Miller. It's his last beginning of track practice. Next week's question is, what are your plans during spring break? Remember, don't forget to reply to us on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter using the hashtag SeamanTV. Looks like most of you will enjoy your spring break. I, on the other hand, I think I'm going to San Antonio. Oh, I hope the weather fares a bit better for you. I like to stay in myself. Be sure to use the hashtag SeamanTV to continue to contribute to this segment. All right, let's transition into our next story about International Thespian Society going to festival. Let's go see who is able to qualify for nationals. International Thespian Society has just gone to festival. So national qualifiers are those who uh, scored a superior rating. Um, in their individual events at uh, the Kansas Thespian uh, Festival in January. Think about what you love to do and imagine getting to do that for three days with people from all over the state and just being able to be with people who appreciate things that you appreciate and getting to learn from people who are professionals. It's one of my favorite times of the entire year. They competed in many events. I competed in a group acting performance from Don Zelitis' Greek Mythology Olympiaganza. Um, I competed in duo acting with Zach Cootie. We performed a piece called The History of Television Condensed. Um, it was a comedic routine. Um, yeah, we had to get a piece that was uh, shorter than five minutes, or five minutes or shorter, and um, then do that. And the judges then rated us. And Let's go talk to the qualifiers about how they think their performances went. It was, it was good, and I got to meet some new people and hang out with my friends, and yeah, it was a fun time. It, it, was, it was amazing. I'm, I'm glad I went again, and um, I'm very excited for International Thespian Festival. Really amazing. I honestly did not think we were going to qualify this many events. I'm ecstatic that we qualified five. Last year we only qualified one. Um, so it's, it's been really cool. Those qualifiers will be competing at nationals over the summer. Congratulations. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office will be increasing traffic enforcement efforts around the Shawnee County area high schools. As long as you buckle up, you should be fine. North Topeka Rotary will award two scholarships of $750 each. For more information, check the scholarship page on the Seaman website. Sophomores and juniors must update their MacBook Air operating system in the High Sierra or Mojave prior to Thursday. On Wednesday, March 6th, Math Club will be selling pie for Pie Day. Everyone is welcome to shop the North Topeka Prom Closet in Northland Christian Church on Saturday, March 23rd from 10 to 2. On Saturday, March 23rd, the Seaman Art Department will host an all-day art fair tri trip to, Mitch, uh, to Wichita. Talk to Mr. LaDuke for more information. Mason will have a loaded sports segment today after the break. I will choose. I will choose. I will choose to respect my body. To rise above. To put myself first. 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 Think I, want them, I, don't want them. I will choose not to fall victim to this cruel trap. It's my body. It's, it's our, our body. body. I will choose. 
to keep my future in my own hands. And not in the hands of people who will harm it. I will choose to say no to nudes. I will choose to ignore. Delete. Block. Unfriend. unfriend. Report sexting. All these people in the room. I will choose to end this crisis. To not let last year's events repeat themselves. You don't need to see all of me. To know. Love. Appreciate me. Trying to make you understand. To all the I will choose. I will choose. We will choose. I will choose. To send love. 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 I will choose to send love, not nudes. I'm not gonna dare to know. We'll be going to Emory to tell us a little bit more about the cheer team. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mrs. Geis, and she's the new head cheerleading coach. And there's also a parent meeting tomorrow. So what's the parent meeting about? Um, the parent meeting is just a way for um, myself, uh, Mrs. Hurt, and Mrs. Sands as coaches to introduce ourselves to the parents and potential cheerleaders. We will go over what to expect at tryouts, as well as um, answer any questions parents or girls might have. Uh, when are tryouts, and what should people expect? Um, tryouts are going to be March 23rd. Um, we are going to have a clinic from 9 to noon, and then the actual tryouts will start at 1. It'll be a very similar format to what they've done in the past. There'll be some jumps, a cheer, a dance. If you can tumble, give me some round-off back handsprings, all that good stuff. Uh, are you making any changes this year? Um, one of the big changes, and I'm sure a lot of people have heard about it, is um, cheerleading practice will be moved to after school. And then um, there's just some other kind of minor changes, but if you show up to the parent meeting, you can hear all about them. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I'm just super excited. It's going to be a great year. Right. Thanks, Ms. Geis. Now back to your anchors. Congratulations to our women's basketball team for winning the 5A Substate Tournament this past Friday at DeSoto. Our Lady Vikes will now travel down to Emporia to play McPherson. It's a 3 p.m. game this Wednesday, March 6th. When we win on Wednesday, our next round game will be on Friday, March 8th at 3. This morning at 10 o'clock, Malachi Pope signed a letter of intent to run cross-country at Southwestern College. Congratulations, man. Seaman Softball Parable is, is available. Go to the link on Schoology to order your 2019 softball gear. Baseball practice tonight will be indoors. Lucky you. Wrestlers went to state. Let's see how that went. The Seaman Wrestling team brought 11 state qualifiers. We talked to Coach Kelly and Dylan Williams to see how it went. Well, um, you know, considering where we are, kind of rebuilding, um, I thought the season uh, season went pretty well. Uh, well, I'm pretty happy with the start of the, or with the result of the season. Um, I did start out with an injury, and I wasn't for sure if I was going to wrestle this year. But with a lot of support and hard work, I was released back onto the mat just in time to get in shape and win some matches to go to state. Out of the 11 qualifiers, Ezra and Dylan were the only two to go to the second day. We had 11 qualifiers, um, which was probably you know, at least three more than, than probably the most that we expected going in. So, so getting 11 down there was, uh, was good and it's important for those guys to get that state level experience. After losing my first match at state, I felt very disappointed. Um, I had to keep my mind straight and get ready for the next match. The team successfully brought home a 5th place medal from Dylan Williams to put the team in 24th place to tie with Highland Park. Well, I think Dylan, uh, Dylan performed, performed quite well. Um, kind of how I would describe it was he was probably, on paper, the 8th to 10th best guy at that, uh, at that weight class at 160. It was a really deep weight class, and he came through with a 5th place performance. So. Um, you got to say that that's uh, you know very good. I mean, he overachieved, and that's what you want to do at state. You want that to be, you know, your best. Uh, you bring in your best uh, out, and that's exactly what he did. I think our team uh, did really good this year. Uh, we did have some ups and downs through the season. Uh, all in all, uh, what I really liked about the team this year is that they started coming together towards the end of the season and holding each other accountable for each other and helping each other out through the season. It's always good to see our boys compete at the state level. All right, let's go over to Josh to see how much the weather will fluctuate this week.
Good afternoon to you. Isn't this weather pattern just fascinating? Wind chill of negative 13 here this morning. There were 37 tornadoes across the southeastern United States yesterday. And with that in mind, we are moving closer to severe weather season here in Kansas. So there is a storm spotter class tonight at Washburn University. There are two classes, 3.30 and 7 o'clock. Be sure to head out if you want to learn a little bit more about storm spotting and possibly become a certified spotter. Go ahead and head out there tonight. Always a good class, very informative uh, for you out there. Now we are tracking our next weather maker for the weekend. This is on Saturday, Friday night into the Saturday time frame. Some heavy rain and thunderstorms will be possible. It's still too early to know how much rain will fall, but if you have weekend plans for Saturday, outside not looking great, it's probably going to be a soggy first half of the weekend. And now for USC TV 7 day forecast, we are still tracking a warm up on, throughout the next seven days as well. Here we go. Uh, 24 tomorrow, 30s for Wednesday and Thursday. And then, yeah, possibly up to the low to mid 50s on Saturday, along with that chance for some isolated thunderstorms. Now, Mason and Tanner, back to you. We're fresh out of news for you guys, but tomorrow we'll have a Seaman React, and Cody's back with a segment over Apex Legends. We'll leave you with a segment of common knowledge. Have a good rest of your day, Vikes. Uh, today's common knowledge is about movies. Let's see if uh, people know about movies. All right. Who is the actor that played Maverick in Top Gun? I've never seen that movie in my life. Um, the only name that's coming to mind is Bradley Cooper. It's uh, <laughs> Tom Cruise. Correct. Wow. Uh, I am not sure. I've only seen that Mark movie. Wahlberg. I don't know. Uh, Goose. <laughs> it's Tom Cruise played Maverick. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Name the movie that this line is from. You're killing me, Smalls. I don't know. Sandlot. Sandlot. Uh, Sandlot. Sandlot. Oh, um. The Sandlot. The, yeah, Sandlot. The Sandlot part one. What college did Forrest Gump play football for? Harvard. Alabama. I've never seen that movie. Yeah. You've never These seen Forrest Gump? No. It's common I've knowledge. I've never seen that movie. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alabama. What is the name of Rocky's trainer? Which one? The first one. Oh man, the old guy. Uh, Mick? Mickey, yeah. Apollo? Floyd Mayweather. Mitch. Whatever his name was, his name Mitch. It's Mickey! 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 Mickey. Oh, Mickey. Mickey. oh my god. I have never seen that movie either. Rocky. I'm not, no, I've never watched that movie. <laughs> I've never seen it. Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> the, the old guy. Um, Starts with an M. I have no idea. All right. How fast did the DeLorean have to go to achieve time travel in Back to the Future? I got 80 miles an hour. 120. 80 miles an hour. Three million something. Three million. <laughs> I don't know. Speed of light. 88 <laughs> miles an hour. Um, How fast did the DeLorean have to go to... 80 miles per hour.